What is up YouTube? That's it here and today is an extra special day because today we are using my absolute favorite Pokemon. Today we are going to be showing off some games featuring my amazing Adrenaline or Butterfree set. You know I've been working on this Adrenaline or Butterfree set for what feels like a couple months now and I think I finally got to a point where I can get the Adrenaline or proc to almost every game and I think this move set that you can see right here in this rental team that also has a link to the pace bin and the code so you guys can use it in your own games in the description below. This set I think is actually about as good as you can get. A lot of people expect the Butterfree the way we like to play it to be Scarf so they actually play around Scarf Butterfree. They go for a lot of fake outs. They go for a lot of other things. I think this Butterfree uh, through the use of having Protect and Sleep Powder with the ability to go for Befuddles or even set max Airstreams while being able to change your move and not being locked into Scarf and also not being restricted by having a Sash and a Sandstorm team has a ton of versatility and I personally do feel that this is the best way to play an Adrenaline or Butterfree set. But the question of the day for you guys is, uh, what is the next way you want to see me use Butterfree? I, I already have another video coming out in a couple days that shows a really unique way to play it, but are there any other Butterfree sets you think you want to see me use? Do you want to see me use Life Orb? Do you want to see me use uh, Utility Umbrella? Do you want to see me use the Heavy Duty Boots Blunder Policy? Choice Specs? What do you guys want to see me use with Butterfree? I'm always super interested in reading all of your comments, and it's thanks to you guys' comments that I actually get ideas for videos. So if there's a cool Butterfree set or I or move or combo or something you want to see me use let me know in the comments below other than that we're gonna hop right on into these games hopefully you enjoy them and hopefully you guys learn a little bit more about how I personally like to play Butterfree I am liking this team a lot I really like the core of Titar Exodrill Grimmsnarl I think it's like super good I think Trevenant I, I liked Butterfree there before but like we haven't really been able to use Butterfree the thing about Butterfree is like you probably wonder like why aren't you using Butterfree as much it's in the team but like for Butterfree in this team it's that games that I could win with Butterfree, I could win with literally anything else. Um, Butterfree is a Pokemon that can beat players that I'm better than. Uh, pretty Mostly just because I need to be faster to make it work. Against Arcanine, that's technically our best matchup. I will be bringing Butterfree here, but we'll see if I actually need Butterfree to win this one. I think you probably go Butterfree Grimmsnarl or Butterfree Gothitelle. Butterfree Gothitelle. But like, if, if he leads the Arcanine, we just win. You see how that works? Um... He maybe doesn't lead Arcanine, like, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I think you just go T-Dark, sit in the back. And I am being a little bit full of myself here. Thinking, like, uh, I'm being a little bit overconfident. But I'm looking at their team thinking, all right, that's probably Scarf on the Dracovish. I like Specs, so like Throat Spray on the Sylveon. Rotom could have a Barrier Leftovers. Arcanine, I don't know what Arcanine's going to do. But it's probably a Life Orb on the uh, Hydreigon. Might be Scarf on the Hydreigon. Or maybe like a band on the Dracovish. But like, I can't really tell what that team's going to do. And I think the Butterfree is just kind of solid. His team's a little bit too reactive, which means Butterfree should just be able to run it over. He did not lead with the uh, Arcanine. It's a little bit scary. Feel lit if Scarf Hydreigon, Life Orb, Fish. That would be good. I think he's going to fake out. Sorry, I think he's going to Trick Room, right? I actually think this is a Trick Room team. Um, I think it's actually like a banded Dracovish with like Sylveon Specs. And so I think that he's going to try and set a Trick Room. And you can't, you can't, um, you can't use Overcoat. Like, oh, it has Overcoat. I'm playing, I'm actually going, tripping over all my words. That thing has Overcoat. So you can't Sleep Powder it. So we're actually going to really respect Reuniclus here. And we're going for the Befuddle. He's withdrawing Hydra Gun, yeah. Because he doesn't know if we're Scarfed. He's going to be switching in. Is it Arcanine? Lamal. Sylveon. This is... We win. We win the game. Game's over. Game's over. We won. So we're going to hit this bit. Brunico's going to get absolutely dumpstered right here. One of these days, I'm going to fight something, and it's going to, like, bug reduce bury me. And I'm going to be like, yo, they got their bug repellent. But one thing that I want to talk about here. Like, so like I was talking about before the game even started. The thing about Butterfree is Butterfree was like, wow, Butterfree's so good here. Like, you're in such a good spot. But, like, if you led Reuniclus and Hydreigon, and I just led Titar Excadrill, I'd be in this same spot. Like, I don't need Butterfree to make this sort of play work. And I haven't even won yet. I actually almost want to say Titar Excadrill would be better against this. Just saying. 
And so that means that Butterfree, while it is my favorite Pokemon, while it does bring a lot of uh, things to the table, it technically isn't providing enough to warrant like keeping it around. I think that Dracovish is going to absolutely just like murder my freaking Butterfree. Let me see. I have Teeter Axe in the back, right? So there's not really a reason to... Let me see. I think you actually have to just go for the befuddle on that thing and try and like roll it. Yeah, wish me luck. Uh, I'll be able to, if he, even if it's a double KO here, I'll just be able to bring out Teeter Exodrill and win the game. What would you place Butterfree with? All right, cool. So that is a banded Exodrill. Sorry, I banded uh, Dracovish. It's totally banded. Um, otherwise, he would have outsped me. Like, he's actually like speed reduced banded. This is made to be Trick Room, and I read the team preview correctly. And we rolled the sleep. What would you place Butterfree with? I think replacing Butterfree with Gyarados gives the team a lot more. Um, it just gives a lot more versatility to the team if you replace Butterfree with. A Gyarados? Like, look at that on paper. Like, throw that, throw this team with uh, Gyarados over Butterfree into the Maryland Team Builder, and it's actually quite nice. It's quite nice. Um, I think I'm gonna Airstream. I think I'm gonna Airstream this one, because I just need it gone. And I'm gonna start Psy Shocking. I should probably Airstream the Sylveon, uh, because the Airstream will give a boost uh, to my Gothitelle, which would make me potentially outspeed the Dracovish, but I don't want to risk it. Dracovish has, like, 30 higher points of base speed on me. Transforming my Pokemon is really stressing. So many memories. Yeah, we went over that uh, yesterday. I think Gyarados would give the team a lot more versatility. It would also help in, like, the Halucha matchup and other, like, Sand matchups. Being able to provide Intimidator is actually pretty important. It's a lot of damage. Don't crit me, please. All right, and now we should be outspeeding this Hydreigon because we got a speed boost off the Airstream. Don't know for sure, but we'll see. I mean... He, be, he hasn't seen our mons in the back, so if he locks himself in like Dark Pulse, it's like, well, now. Oh, actually, he's not. I'm not locked into shit. <laughs> I need to go for Sleep Powder if I wanted. I think I'm just gonna roll the Pollen Puff on it. Should be able to still KO. And we're actually gonna hit the Sylveon. He hasn't Dynamaxed yet. I probably should be Sleep Powdering. We'll see. Let's see who's Dynamaxing. Yeah, I should I should have Sleep Powdered that uh, Hydreigon. A misplay for sure. He might be hitting the goth still though, so I might be get, I might get a second shot. Actually, I wouldn't get the second shot, right? Yeah. Good damage. Probably it's not weakness policy will now. Yeah. And our Gothitelle outsped his Hydreigon. What the fuck? How? Oh, how? How? I know I have a, I know I have an airstream boost, but like how? Par be be paralyzed, Sylveon. Do it. Do it for me. Come on, full para. Full para. Full para. That's what I'm talking about. OMG. All right. Um, I'm gonna sleep that one, and so you just want to bring in the Axe Drill. Actually, you you want to bring the T-Tar out. I just want to set the sand up. Speed up, speeds up the hydrogen going down. That's slow. I mean, yeah, my, my minus speed, zero speed, speed reduced nature, Gothitelle has like a plus one speed outsped his hydrogen. It's this team's fully made. This whole team is zero speed, yeah. I wish Breaking Swipe could hit the damn Sylveon. That'd be so poggers. Alright, hopefully this uh, rock slide hits the Sylveon. Sleep powders up. And so Butterfree looks like it completely dominated this matchup, but I still think the Butterfree, like, I didn't need Butterfree to do that. It saddens me. It hurts me. But also, Butterfree's providing, like, extra weaknesses that the team doesn't need. Um, extra flying weaknesses the team doesn't need. Extra rocks weakness and extra fire weakness the team doesn't need. So I think that Butterfree is probably the next Pokemon that I'd like to switch out. I'd like to put a water type there, and I don't really want to necessarily put like a melodic there. I don't want to be like, hey, you watch out. Don't bring your intimidators. No, Iron Ball, he already he took life orb damage. We saw it. No, we, we saw him take life orb damage when he hit the Exodrill. I saw it. Not Exodrill. Uh the other Pokemon. I'm gonna try Gothitel Butterfree. And if he leads to the Intimidators, then the game's over. Uh, I think you still have to bring Titar Exodrill though, still, right? Am I, am I wrong? Titar Exodrill does not look very good on paper because the Dragovich just one shots our Titar. Like, Exodrill still looks okay. I think that Grimstall is like needed, but 
We're gonna try and get away with this. We're gonna go all in on Butterfree. We're gonna go all in on Butterfree. If they lead Arcanine, they're in for a bad time. If they lead Arcanine, they are in for a bad time. Can I use the Lola Pokemons if I want to start a new run on Shield? I think so. I think so. Show me that Arcanine Chief. Damn it. Alright, we actually played it. We played for this, though. We were prepared. Who do I actually think is more of a priority target? That's actually a good question. I think I'm actually going to hit the Dracovish. Yeah. This is such a hard play. I gotta do that and let him get his tailwind up. And just hope to goodness that we roll sleep. I mean, I could just sleep powder if I these safeguards or taunts, I lose. Right? That's why you do this. Hopefully we just one-shot the hell out of it, right? Befuddles up, boys. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's get those befuddles popping off right now. And then you know he's going to hit the Butterfree, so like, I'll probably just protect Butterfree and like Psyshock that thing next turn. They never... Uh, Wimscott might even uh, protect this turn. To block Fake Out. Nope. They never do. <laughs> they never do. Alright. Moonblast. Well, now! No! That sucks! That's really lame. Quite lame, indeed. It's not going to do nearly enough now. Yeah, that would have done probably another 30% and put him within range for a Psy Shock. Let's just roll Sleep! Oh! Sleep! And what do we get? Poison. That's actually good. Break Sash. I'll take that. Nice to Sleep Drake if you got over there, Chi. It'd be a shame. I mean, I'm going to Airstream the Whimsicott. And I think I can get away with just Psy Shocking. Because I'm like full special attack. I'm um, like 95 base. I think I can take it out. He's going to Tailwind, I think. But that's why we're Airstreaming. Dragovish should still be asleep. She bought a Switch. Uh, going to purchase Shield after work. Heard the Dex is extremely small. But future specs expansions. Yes. No, it's definitely happening that way. He does have Protect. Why didn't he use that last turn? Alright, so I think that's Dragovish's first sleep turn because he flinched before he got put to sleep. So just just know that that's uh that's how this is going off. Like he couldn't have woke up that turn, I think. The big butterfree. I know you guys been waiting to use these uh butterfree emotes all day. I know you've been waiting all day. Please just go away, Dracovish. Give me that big side shock damage, yo. Man, that's the exact amount of like health that like butterfree would have like been mitigated from. Alright, Dracovish, I think, can wake up this turn. It's actually a better idea to actually go for this one. Because there's a chance Butterfree outspeeds. And then we can just side shock the Whimsicott. It'll get KO'd. Just mix it up. Please don't wake up! Tailwind, yeah, he's going for it. This is his first turn that he could wake up. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'll take it! Get that out of here! Yes, yes. Dracovish down. Butterfree's up, Dracovish down. Long awaited. Butterfree jubated. And Sashok should KO here. Show me that Arcanine, Chief! Show me Arcanine! I feel an Arcanine. I feel it! This guy's about this guy's about to lose his whole life right now if he sends out an Arcanine. I'll get an Adrenalorp and a competitive proc. Yeah, I gotta go. Thank you for the thank you for stopping by. Dang! Thank you for all the gifted subs again, Nighthawk. Really do appreciate it. No berries. Alright, uh Butterfree's down for the count. I mean he could Dynamax. What would he use if he was Dynamax? Max Steel. Butter, we can just protect still, too. Uh, I think I might sleep powder that Corviknight still. I'm gonna try. Is it worth it to keep this Goth in, or should I switch in Titar? I think Goth can actually eat, like, a max uh, whatever move. So I'm gonna try and break the Disguise. So we can bring in Titar X and just one-shot it. And if I sleep the Corviknight, like, that's value. Corviknight, uh, I think we still outspeed a Corviknight with Butterfree. Our, our EV spreads are weird, so we'll see. 
Big Corviknight, huh? Alright. Yeah, big Corviknight is a big problem. Please be slower than my butter free. Please be slower than my butter free. Shadow Claw? Yeah, we can eat that. We can eat it. Yes! I mean, he could be one berry, but then, like, that's his item. You know what I mean? So, like, I'll take it. Yep! Nice, nice Dynamax Mon. Mimikyu's disguise is Dunzoed. I think I'm actually gonna just go for No, I, I, dang, I have to sleep part of Mimikyu. I was gonna say, I was gonna go for like just a Hurricane to KO it, but I have a special attack drop. I'm gonna switch T-Turn though. Speed this up a little bit. That Corviknight is a huge problem, and every single turn I deny it from using max, like, defense boost whatevers is another good one. I'm probably going to protect with my Butterfree next turn. Uh, and so, like, if Corviknight, like, wakes up, it can uh, not one-shot our Butterfree, maybe. No, I think that Max Gale would still kill. He read the player off! Oh, he's sitting Butterfree. That's, that's actually the correct target, so that's fair. Fair and balanced. Don't wake up! Don't wake up, Corviknight. Having this goth to like reapply fake out is like super important too. All right, so let me think. I think we're just gonna Iron Head. He's unnerved, so he actually isn't mirror armor. So like, I can actually go for like crunches on that thing. We're gonna Iron Head this Mimikyu in the face, and I think I'm just gonna start crunching. Should I be rock sledding and just flinch in this guy? They're both neutral, but like one has a 30% chance to flinch. Not this turn, but next turn. I think I'm okay with the crunch. Defense drops sir. Is this Tailwind over? Um, I think this is Tailwind. I think his Tailwind is over. No, I guess not. It's his last turn of Tailwind. This could be a mistake from me, then. You're right, I'm a fool. Alright, we still at least got that thing off the board. Mimikyu down. Yeah, I got a little bit ahead of myself, didn't I? Just a little bit. Return sleep? Oh, no, not this time. So he's gonna get one knuckle. Oh, he's going for a knuckle in the T-Tar, right? Ow. Oh my goodness, we ate that T-Tar! Yo, T-Tar, my guy. That's what I was talking about when I talk about my EV spreads, guys. How bulky we be. And the defense drop on the thing that I said you weren't mirror armor. There's the tail went down. This crunch is gonna do a lot now. Quite a bit. Rock slide and the big crunch. Hoggers. I wonder what his item is. He hasn't shown it, right? It's probably like some sort of berry. It's not lefties. It's not lumberry. It's like a pinch berry. We can do a lot. Pretty sure that uh, damage it there means the Hawucha crit didn't matter. That's a max move. You know the Hawucha was burned, right? The Hawucha was burned, guys. And that Hawucha didn't have a Swords Dance off. The fact that we ate a 90 base super effective move from a heavily invested offensive Corviknight. You can see he's heavily invested because of how much damage we dealt to him, he has a defense drop. Still gonna go for this. Don't wanna show the Thunderbolt unless I have to. I'd rather just show the fake out and scout for protect. There we go, fake out's up! OMG! OMG! Big T Tar damage. That's right. We take those wins. Butterfree won this one. Can't believe we won that one. That was like a bit of a steal. Yeah, bit of a steal. I think he's going to lead with the Gyarados. Let's see. I mean, I actually do kind of like Butterfree here. Yo, GLH up. Let's go Butterfree. And the thing is, Gothitelle's really good. Would you lead Raichu? I don't think you'd lead Raichu. I'm going to go Butterfree Gothitelle fishing for a Gyarados lead. If they don't lead with that, we're in for a bad time. Uh, I still think you bring T-Tarx in the back. 
Yo, good luck. They aren't ready. Yo, let's hope they're not ready. I'm not ready. This is my very first stream from this brand new streaming room. Hopefully it works out. Hopefully it works out. That's the idea. All right, let me send that out. All right. Yo, sub dude. Yo, we're here on the weekend. New setup looking good. Glad to hear it, yo. Glad to hear it. It's still a little bit dark. That's because it's nighttime here. But we'll see. Streaming room looking solid, yo. I'm glad you guys think so. I'm glad you guys like this new streaming room. Here we go. Why do Garrus and Raichu always appear on similar teams together? Oh, great question, man. That's great. Because Raichu has a ground weakness, and Gyarados is a flying type, so it has a ground immunity. And Gyarados has electric weakness, and Raichu's lightning run makes it so you can't use electric attacks on Gyarados. It'll get redirected to Raichu, so it's super smart. Speaking about super smart, we, cheat, we see Charizard and Grimmsnarl. Wow, that is quite a problem. I was watching the VOD for the showdown stream and almost missed the live notification on my mouth. I think the brightness is good, yo. I'm glad you like it. Looks like when you were streaming VGC back in the day, it's a completely different place. Weekend stream, yo. Weekend stream's doing its absolute best. We're gonna be switching in that Charizard for that slot. And I think you just still wanna go for, uh, I mean, I, w I want to fake it, but I think he's gonna Dynamax the Charizard. So we're just gonna go for the Thunderbolt. It might switch a Raichu in next turn. And then remember, we do not, he does not know that our Tyranitar is El Scarpo. So we can definitely hide that. Yo, here we is. That's right. Good evening. Good evening, my friends. Welcome to the brand new streaming room. It's very ambient. Actually, like, even the, the... I know you guys can't hear it as well back here, but, like, the lighting is even better if I go back here. Your hair color looks different. Yo, this is my hair color, Chief. Yo, Titar, show us what you're working with. He's not... Is he not Dynamaxing? Hair on point? That's right. Hair on point. This is what my hair color looks like, so... Going with a big Dynamax. I do not think you're Dynamaxing your Grim Style Chief. I think you're Dynamaxing that big T-Tar. Sorry, big uh, big Charizard. Yo, big Charizard. So I mean, it looks like I made the right decision in not going for a fake out. I could like fake out at a Grim, but I think the Grim Style is fake out in the Butterfree because he doesn't know if I'm Scarfed. So I think the Grim Style is either going for a fake out or some sort of screen, probably a light screen. Thunder Wave, that can miss Chief. Oh wait, almost, I'm a dark type. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Wildfire, yo, get rid of that. That's actually a really smart play from our opponent because he didn't know if like our Butterfree was Scarfed. He didn't know if it was Sashed. Uh, Thunder Wave kind of covers both of those options. So it's actually really, really smart. Thunderbolt's really good damage. It should put Charizard within range for a... Uh, it should put Charizard within range for a Rock Slide, I think. Right? What do you guys think? Do you guys think it puts Charizard within range for the Rock Slide? I think it might. Ow, that's a lot of damage. And let's see. Hmm. I was playing Beat Saber early, and people could say my playstyle was like Kirito's Starburst stream. I mean, I believe it. No, my hair is usually my hair is actually red. It's just because it's a little bit dark in here, guys. Do I need a Dynamax? I don't think I do. I just want to go for the big rock slide. You can totally pop your Reflect, and I will totally pop that Thunderbolt. Actually, I think I'm going to Psy Shock the Zark, because I think he's going to switch out Grimstone for Raichu or pop a Reflect. It's one of the two. He might even pop like a Max Guard. There's a Reflect. I think it's fine. I think it's totally fine. Now, worst case scenario is this gets redirected into the all right cool. we get we get we waste the side shock turn oh well not the end of the world the scarf t-tar the scarf t-tar making its presence known making its presence known all right so now he knows more scarf though so we gotta watch out is it gyarados time i dare you to lead gyarados see what you're working with man that those little flames should not tick they should not tick when well, the charizard's gone it shouldn't Shouldn't tick. But he's down, he's down a big Dynamax. I still have an Excadrill. Core of a Knight. All right, that's Thunderbolt. That's Thunderbolt time. We take those. Unnerve, no berries. All right, all right. Yeah, it's definitely Rock Slide and T-Bolt time. Let's rock and roll. Yo, have you guys ever played any of those, uh, what are those games? The Sword Art Online games? Are they any good? I'm curious. Are they any good? Let's go big Rock Slide. OMG! You hate to see it. It's probably gonna go for an Iron Head on that guy. Iron Head on my T-Tar Sad Panda. Iron Defense, Lamau. I don't know about that one, Chief. He wants those big body presses. G-Max Wildfire is OP. Yo, I 100% agree. Yo, is that Doggy1933 popping in hot with that resub on the weekend stream? Yo, you absolutely love to see it, guys. Let's put some subs up. I have no sub plushies here. The only thing I can put up is a bottle of Limeade. So, bottles of Limeade's up. Bottles of Limeade's up. 
for that sub. Thank you so much. Popping the sub on the weekend. Yo, I'll put some subs up for that. Holy moly. Thank you so much. That's actually blowing my mind. Blow my mind. Twitch Prime, seven months. You absolutely love to see it. You know what else you love to see? You love to see Rock Slides make their connections made. I was a big fan of Sal back in the day, but I don't think I have a chance to play the games. I don't think I've played the games. Yeah. I have not played them. Yo, can we get some flinches? One, two, three. Yo, we take those flinches. Yo, come on. You not? Can you not? Can you not? Oh my gosh, you can. Ow. That hurt. That hurt. All right. That hurt. Where's your sub plush? Is it home? This is not my home. Yo, T-Tar hanging on by a literal thread. Are those lefties? How the hell do I beat this Corviknight, guys? I'm being I'm being absolutely realistic here. Like, I do not know how I beat that Corviknight. It has a max whatever thingy. I think you have to go with Butterfree. But, like, Butterfree is just going to get uh, Thunder Waved by the Grimmsnarl. I think we just lost to the Corviknight. I think that... Uh, I think that foul play absolutely just dumpster us. How many turns do we have on that one thing? All right, so, I mean, yeah, we just gotta go, we gotta keep on. I think you have to switch. How many turns are there on his reflect as well? That's actually super important. The thing is, the more turns that I wait, right? The more turns that I wait, the more leftovers he gets. And that's never lucky. I think we're actually just gonna go for that and go for hard switch next. It'll block the T-Wave. Go right, dummy thick. Yeah, no, we got we got a, that miss that first missed rock slide was very unlucky. We haven't Dynamaxed yet, but like we do not have the correct Pokemon to beat that Corviknight. This team actually like, can't really beat a Corviknight. Thunder Wave's gonna get Block Arena, of course. Yo, Potato saying uh, Sunday stream. You hope you're having a great week, and yo, I'm doing my absolute best right now. I'm doing my absolute best. There's the Iron Head into the Butterfree slot. Well, now extra drill dummy thick. Yo, guys, put some more subs up. 14 months. Wow, 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 wow. 14 big months. All right, Sandstorm is now gone. I think you want to switch out the T-Tar. Because, like, the thing about it, this is, this is what I'm kind of looking at here. Like, if you look at the Grim Snarl, right? This is his last turn of Refract, potentially. We don't know its item. But, like, we haven't Dynamaxed yet. I could go for, like, a Max Rock Ball and just go for, like, Flinch Towns. I think I actually just want to go for double Flinch Town and just try and flinch the Corbin out of the game. I think it's my best shot without Dynamaxing yet. But that's probably my best shot. We have a double 30% chance to get those big flinches up. Guys, wish me luck here. Wish me luck. T-Tar, Rock Slide. Grim at least Grimstone is gone. That's actually super important. Now we can't Thunder Wave our Butterfree. How are you liking the new setup? Yo, this is my, I just got here, so it's going pretty good. Yo, we have quite the chance to flinch, guys. Quite the chance. Survey says. Oh, we double Iron Defense. Okay. This changes things, and now we just need a crit. I mean... If I'm being realistic, now we just got to crit the hell out of this guy because he's going to live forever. He's effectively taking less damage from the leftovers than I'm dealing with double rock slide. I'm Butterfree might be able to get something done because I don't think he's super bulky on the special side. Togekiss, that's a double rock slide board. I will definitely be going rock slide here. And I think you got Dynamax it, guys. Let's get those big defense boosts. Probably going to KO my T-Tar, and then I'm just going to bring in my Butterfree. Yo, they've been quite slacking in the VGC scene. Been losing interest in the meta. Could you give me some suggestions? Yo, play Pokemon that you like. Corviknight is beefy. Corviknight dummy thing. We got to get some good flinches, guys. It's probably going to KO my Exegol this turn, but there's not that much I can do about it. Because we got to get this Tokus off the board, guys. Tokus has to dissipate right now. We could, oh, and if we get that, if we crit the Corviknight once, we can win, guys. We crit the Corviknight one time. Give me that one time crit, we can win. One time crit. All right, it's good damage to Hocus. Makes so even if you had a Steel Reduce Bear, I think we still get the KO. Big Steel Reduce or big, big Steel Spike. OMG, get that defense boost. Can we flinch this Corviknight, please? Can I get that one, one kind flinch on that Corviknight? One flinch. Just one flinch is all I ever wanted. Come on, come on! Uh-oh. Are you sitting the T-Tar? I'll take that. T-Tar was relatively useless. Now, we don't know what's... Are we doing this item? It's leftovers. It's sleep pot of time, boys. Population him. I think I outspeed with my Butterfree. It's hard to say, really. That's how it's going. Yo, we got the brand new streaming setup. It's definitely nap time for that Corviknight. And if you Brave Birds, he's going to take a crap ton of recoil. All right, you guys ready? Sleep. 
Um, I guess Rock Ball is neutral damage. So I guess we'll go for it, but it's lame. Just gotta give me a crit, guys. Guys, we need a crit emote. What do you guys think? What do you guys think we need a crit emote? I think we might need one. For that big damage. That is not very much. I'm losing my life orb, yo. I'm gonna have to pump up my Exodil so I don't get, like, KO'd by my own life orb. Well, now. Alright, and I am faster. You'll love to see it. Yo, RNG's going up. I wonder how much damage Hurricane can actually do. I think it's actually gonna be going on to Hurricanes. If we get, like, a multiple turn sleep, we do have shots to win this one. Right? Let's see. He has Iron iron Defense, Body Press, Iron Head. Actually, we haven't, have we seen Iron Head? I don't know if we've seen it. Either way, I think Hurricane's gonna do a significant amount. I'm mucho confident. Shiny Honey Gardevoir. Yo, I wish you all the luck, my friend. The big rock fall. Big rocks, Butterfree. Yes. Butterfree rocks. Trying to make a semi stall team right now using Toxic Target Dino Kremi. Yo, which my last Pokemon be? Should be Rotom. That's a significant amount of damage. Can you not wake up? And we got the confused. Can you not wake up, though? OMG, I think we're gonna do it, guys. I think I can. I think I can. We're gonna grind out this Corviknight with our Butter Boy. Yo, can you guys can you guys put those wins up and the reflex down? That was doing that much damage with a reflex and a multiple iron defenses? Yo. Yo. Hurricane. Yo, can I hit my moves, please? Come on! Sometimes lucky. Let's go! Let's go! Rock slide. Yo, let's go! That's significant. All we need is one hurricane. Butterfree. One time. Let's go. Hurricane. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, we taking those wins in the very first game from the brand new streaming room. Yo, I want to see a row of wins go all the way up in chat. Holy moly. I cannot believe. Raid boss Corviknight almost 1v4 would us. And we're like, not today. Not today. You gotta bring Butterfree just because those big hurricanes, you know? What self-respecting Butterfree player would I be if I didn't see his Butterfree and reply back with a Butterfree of my own? What would I be? I'd be absolutely nothing. We can teach our drill and not scared of champ. Why would I be scared of champ? I can just switch. Well, all right, he can leave Machamp, but like, what does it do? I want you to tell me what it does. What does it do? He's slower than me, you know that, right? So like, I can just hit him in the face. And if he wants a Dynamax, like he can't use Dynamic Punch if he's Dynamaxing. So it's like, okay. My champ, there it is. Max Knuckle, I mean, good luck. Good luck. I think, you're, I think we're still gonna go for the nuke into the Hatterene. Cause you gotta stop the trick room otherwise the game's over right do we want to rock slide though i think you want to rock slide i don't think you need the crunch it could be steel reduced berry that's the only reason i'm looking at that like do we want to crunch that ring because i think you might would you actually dynamax from a champ this turn i'm gonna rock slide i don't think he's gonna dynamax it i mean there's a chance to flinch it but like i think i'd rather be locked into rock slide anyways for when the butterfree comes out Let's go. Max Knuckle can't beat T-Tar. Um, this is not your regular average everyday T-Tar. Max Knuckle can definitely beat me. This guy's probably thinking, how does he, how, how did he lead T-Tar Excadrill? I have a Machamp and a Surf Fetch. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't think you can one-shot my Excadrill unless like, I don't, unless like your cross chop crit, right? I don't think you can one-shot my Excadrill. And I always hit my Rock Slides on that Machamp. So he's Dynamaxing. I want to see if he's Dynamaxing with the Hatterene. If he's Dynamax from the Hatterene, he's not setting Trick Room. So, like, I'll just bring out my Butterfree and be fine. Because Butterfree can one-shot that Machamp. There's a big Machamp over there. Okay. Hey, that's totally fine. Um, all out, what is it? Max Knuckle is not a strong move. It's a 90. So, I don't think we'd be able to kill the Exadrill. Big Max Steel. Steel Reduce? Yep. Steel Reduce is the, the play. If he gets his Trick Room up, I'll lose, by the way. Yo, I'm a legend. You're right. Big legends. Yo, I thought you had a Steel Reduce Berry. Where did it go? It's because I have a Life Orb, by the way. Big Life Orbs. Big Life Orbs. And we get those big defense boosts. I mean, if he hits my TR, he hits a T-Tar. I just get to bring in the, uh... I get to bring in my boy Butterfree. Yo, is that so more sub-gifts, yo? 
God triple underscore Usopp gifting a tier one sub. Yo, uh, Zespang getting some sub gifterinos on. Yo, absolutely love to see it. Guys, put some subs up for our boy. Yo, thank you so much for that gifted sub. Hope you're having a wonderful night. I'm super excited to be in this brand new streaming room so I can stream for you guys on the weekends because that's what I'm here for, yo. That's what I'm here for. And he's burned, yo. I'll take that flame or burn, which means he's not guts. That's scary. Sorry, he is Guts. He's not no guard. That means I can miss this Hurricane. I can miss it. Don't even act like I can't miss, because I definitely can. Yo, whoop, whoop. Yo, thank you so much for that gift, yo. That is so much. That's the first gift sub in the channel, too. Thank you. Are you going to bring your Butterfree out? Oh, man, I wanted to see Butterfree. All right, now, I think you actually have to just nuke the Machamp. But, like, let's actually think about this realistically. I think if I Sleep Powder the Surfetched and start Steel Spiking the Machamp, my last Pokemon is Gothitel, who, like, can probably KO the Machamp. But he's gonna have so many boosts by that time. Do we just nuke the Machamp and then potentially lose my extra to, like, a crit? I think we actually just want to nuke the Machamp, right? Will it KO? Who knows? I'm gonna try it. Yo, new room lit? Yo, I appreciate it. It's pretty good. Pretty poggers. Let's go for max steel. That yeah, did a lot. I think Butterfree can finish it off with a hurricane. Come on, Butterfree! Come on, Butterfree! Guys, put some Butterfree emotes up! Butterfree emotes up. I'd hate to miss this hurricane, because we're literally hitting Machamp, guys. Hurricane, making the connections. Machamp goes down for the count! Yes. Yes, yes. And the new room is lit, yo. I appreciate the nice comments, yo. Big butter freeze. And he's going for the big knockoff, yo. Knocking off my my poor adrenaline orb. I'm never going to get to use it. SMH. All right, I'm probably just going to go for hurricanes for the rest of the game. Hurricane could probably kill that Surfetch. He didn't crit, though, right? So, like, maybe he's not weak. Is he vested Surfetch? SMH. I'm max ground that. What did he think was going to happen? That's like the real question you gotta ask yourself. When this guy went into this game, he's like, yo, Chief, what did you think was gonna happen? Yo, call that my chump. Not my chump. Like, not my chump. It's his chump. He's like, but I had him a champ and a surf fetch. How did I lose the T Tar Drill? And I'm like, I don't know, Chief. I don't know. It's almost, it's almost like you're fighting against the literal, the literal Butterfree Master. Butterfree Master Extraordinaire, that's what they call me around these parts. And let's get that big damage. Life Orb's pretty good item last time I checked. It is! It's a pretty good item last time I checked. I could probably get away with going Expert Belt too. But like the Life Orb's super important. Uh, like against that Corviknight we fought earlier, it was like super value. Alright, Sleep Powder. Connections are made. I want to see what's like. Oh, Lumberry. Are you Lumberry? I mean, they should always be that weak, right? Do you guys want to see me use Surfetch? Do you guys want to see me use Surfetch? If so, put wins in chat if you want to see me use Surfetch. Because I most definitely could. There's a lot of Pokemon in this deck that I just haven't used yet that I could totally break off, I think. The big Iron Heads. I'm going to take those wins. Yo. That's a lot of wins. I would love to see you use Surfetch. Yo, we might have to use some Surfetch. Maybe I'll just start, I'll start, just start. I'll have to start thinking about how I want to do it. I don't think I'd use that leak. I don't think I would use the leak, guys. I kind of want to go T-Tar and Grimmsnarl and bait the, uh... Yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. I want to see if he leads with the Cinderace. I want to see if this works. There's other things I could be doing, but I want to try this. If this works, that's awesome. If it doesn't work, well, I'm just trying to do something funny. Oh, this is super good against the Duraludon. Um, this is good against Togekiss. Uh, this is, I mean, I could use a Trevenant versus the Dracovish. The first turn they ignored, they were talking about the last game. The turn they ignored all of my Pokemon for the first three turns of the game. And they wouldn't use fighting attacks on my T-Tar and my Excadrill, which is very questionable. Yeah, we're using AV Goth. Yup. It's busted. But we'll see what this person goes for. I want to see if they go with, like, 
I can also stop Trick Room with this type of lead. Um, there's a bunch of different things I can do in this situation. Uh, the only Pokemon I don't really want to fight against are probably Dracovish. That would definitely change how I play this. But they took the whole timer. They've locked them. They're ready to go. All right. I thought that team was at max swag with Trevenant, but I guess I top. But I guess it topped it. No, this team's definitely max swag. This team's like for realsies. Oh, let's see what they leave with though. Cinder Ace is something that could be a problem. Dust Cops Dragon Ball. All right, that's unique. Let me think about what I want to do here. I can't fake out anything. There's no real reason to reflect. I could just go for a crunch. He sees that we have the choice scarf. He sees we have the eject button. I think I'm actually just... I want my Grimstone to actually stay on the board here. So I think I'm actually just going to rock slide. And I'm thinking about tricking one of these guys. He wouldn't Dynamax it. Is he gonna trick room? He wouldn't trick room with that team either. Why do you even have a Dust Cops in that team? I'm gonna crunch this Dragapult. And I'm gonna pop the Reflex. I think he's just gonna hit me. I think he's gonna expect to me to go for like a trick play. Yep. And I wanna pre-reflect. Shadow Sneak for weakness policy. Yeah, that works. That's not bad. Shadow Sneak the Grim. Yep. Hey, go for it, Chief. I got a Reflect up now. Yeah, Dust Cops has Evil Light. Yeah, it does. Alright. I think you Excadrill here. And we're just going to nuke the Dragapult. I want to... If you if he Ally switches, he's going to take freaking massive damage. So it's fine. Now, I, I think it's actually pretty common that Ally switch Dust Cops. Okay, I want to see if he has any flyers other than the Togekiss. I think I should probably just go for Max Steel. Yeah, I think he's still Max Steel, because Togekiss switches are pretty common. Uh, especially because he knows I'm using Crunch. Alright, but the Reflect there is actually pretty important. Like, I'll take that free Reflect and be able to reset my Fake Out. Yes, please. And I can just bring out the Grim Snarl and go for, like, Spirit Breaks now. So, like, it's fun to have, like, the Eject Button play, but, like, I don't really need it. Like, that that uh, that was a pretty smart, um, I don't know, we'll see. That was a pretty smart reflect, I think. He can totally go for, like, a Will-O-Wisp here. But we'll see if that matters. He's, gonna, he's not switching. I don't think Type is better than Dust Cops. I think that's incorrect. Going big dusk or big uh dragapult. I wonder if he's gonna ally switch. What do you think he's gonna do? Like the shadow sneak is there. I don't think pursuit would be good. Pursuit's not good in doubles, so I don't think they need it. Let's see how much damage we actually deal to this guy. I don't think the max steel spike can one shot it unless he's like a two full sweeper set, right? There's the shadow sneak. Oh, he's shaking she can meet. That's not how that's supposed to go. He's doing that to break sash. So, I could, I could understand that. But he's going to lose his Dragapult for it. I wonder if he's going to go for, like, a sun-boosted move. Max Flare, yeah. Yeah, we're dummy thick. Support Dragapult? Uh, looks like it's not really a support. He's going to be able to take away my, uh... Nice sand, but I think that's alright. I can always just, like, max guard, hard switch in the Grim Snow, go for a fake out, bring T-Tar back out. And I have defense boost in the extra right now, and I have a reflect up. Like, my T-Tar in the sun can just fight his Dracovish in the face. There's a Dracovish. I can just fight this thing. My T-Tar can just laugh at you. I think the right play, though, is probably to hard switch in Grim Snow and go for a max guard. And then I'll go for, like, a probably Fake Out-esque play into the Dracovish. I'll also, this box, uh, him will listen to my Exodrill. Do I want to preserve as much as possible? I think Exodrill could probably eat the Ficious Rend, but I don't want to, right? Grimstone can eat it for sure. 
a reflect up and it's sunny. Vicious rend. Oh, he ignored me, Lamau. Look at that. Full was blocked it. Blocked, chief. Alright, what item do you think? Like, I'm gonna fake out the Dracovish. And then I'm gonna be taking the Duskops EV Light in a couple turns. So. I wonder which one of these is better. Quake can probably just like one shot it. After a uh, fake out. Yeah, I'm fine with this. If he switches out Dracovish for Togekiss, I think it's still fine. It's not the end of the world. But we'll see. This cop's ability is really good. This cop, like, Frisk is one of the best abilities in the game. I've talked about it before. It's a lot of damage. So, big Quake. He's going to get the burn off on me. But being able to put a special defense boost on my Grimshaw is actually pretty important, too. Awesome. Dracovish was the enigma in this team that we had to take out. And, like I said, all I got to do is trick the... Uh, the dust cops to take its EV light and I can like one shot it with crunch. Who knows? Maybe I'll uh, give Titar an EV light. Oh, did he miss? He actually hit the right target, I think. I think hitting the Grimstarl with uh, Will Wisp was a little, a little bit better there. Is Haze good on dust cops? Um, Haze is okay. I don't. I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world. Oh wow, he didn't try to burn my Exo Drill, and like he had a Dragapult or Duraludon over there. Let me think about what I actually need to do here. I think you actually nuke the Duraludon, um, because it might need a little bit of extra damage. I wonder if he's going to protect it. We'll see. I think High Horsepower can still KO. Shadow Sneak, yo, he wants that damage, yo, but I'm dummy thick. High Horsepower. Connections are made. Awesome. Yeah, this is the power of that Life Orb, guys. That Life Orb power. Just those one-shots that they don't expect. And so we get a spirit break off. Next, I can just trick it. The trick's on you. The trick's on you. And my reflect works off. Yo, bye reflect. Don't make me re-reflect you. Yeah, this doesn't. It doesn't even matter. He's just gonna run. But it's all right. Scoops up. Yo, we take those wins. Feels good, man. Feels good. I think you'll eat Butterfree. The... And that, so you can go for Sleep Powders. It could be Scarf, Rotom, but we, we want to be able to switch that in. See so those two. And then, as far as Grimmsnarl goes, I don't know if I like Grimmsnarl here. Grimmsnarl's only good if you're losing, right? And I think he's going to be getting able to get a Trick Room up. So we'll see. It's better to bring Gothitelle here than the Grimmsnarl. So I am going to bring the Gothitelle. Grimmsnarl's a... It's not good. Go God tell. Let's get those wins, guys. Let's get those wins. It's time. You guys ready to put those wins up? It's been a hot minute. I have faith. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. So we're just gonna switch in our uh T Tar and then we'll win. I kind of wanted to switch in Titar and use Rock Slide, actually. Because I think it's a Scarf Rotom. That's why. I don't really need to set, like, a... Let me think about that. Actually, it's probably a better idea to max steal that one. Because even if it was Sash, it get KO'd. Switching the Titar, we'll hide our own Scarf. Uh, if he Dynamaxes his Rotom and he's using Max Hail... Like, Max... Sorry, Max, like, Blizzard. That would be pretty busted for him. Dude, if I just actually web with my Titar, I would just win. Like, I would just double rock slide. This man is not ready for the double rock slide. Uh, he should be going for, like, maybe a bolt switch if he is scarfed. But we'll see. I wonder if he protects with the Abama Snow, too. He's Dynamaxing with something, I believe. I still think we can I think we can one-shot an Abama Snow uh, because we're life-orbed. So if he does decide to Dynamax with the Abama Snow, we should still probably get a one-shot. Um, I want to see if the Rotom is Spexed. I want to see if he's going for like protect discharge. That'd be a little bit. That'd be a little bit weird to see protect discharge, but we'll see. All right, cool. None of the above. He's probably either sashed or just gone. Sash is the correct set. You'll have to see it. That's why we actually switch in the T tar. 
So he's gonna be able to get a blizzard off. Or like maybe a gig drain and let him live, but I think it's gonna be blizzard. He's probably going for the double blizzard, right? Let's see what you're working with, Chief. Those can miss too. Trick! Okay. What items he is he giving my butterfree? Is he giving my T-Tar a choice scarf? Let's see. T-Tar he obtained a choice scarf! Yo, he just tricked Choice Scarf on Choice Scarf! Yo, that's a pretty good uh choice scarf you got. It'd be a shame if someone had a choice scarf. I can't believe I didn't get frozen, can you? There's a first time for everything. I didn't get frozen. Can you believe that? He's stuck using Trick again. <laughs> so that Rotom is absolutely useless. He tricked himself. Flygon. Okay. Okay, Chief. It's probably going to Dynamax that, right? Steel Spike and probably... Do I want a Breaking Spike it? What's stronger? So Crunch is like 80, 120... This is, like, a not stronger. All right. But it's funnier. I'm faster than he is. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yo, I'm, gonna, I'm just breaking swipe, yo. Yeah, show me that fly gone. Get out of here with your fly gone. He might be able to live, but we're going to get, like, a defense boost and, like, an attack drop. So we don't know if he's physical or special, but, like, we'll be able to tell at the end of this turn, right? We'll be able to tell right here if you're physical or special, Chief. Big steal. That's a lot of damage. Wow. It's because Flygon's the worst Pokemon ever. Give me that defense boost. Are you going to give my Axel a choice scarf? I'd take it. Are you going to give your, your Flygon a choice scarf? Bolt switch. All right. Oh, I thought he was locked in a trick. Didn't you? Didn't you guys think he was locked in a trick? Because he tricked and he regained a choice item? Maybe that's how a trick used to work. Let's see, though. What item is Flygon coming in? Who wants to eat this big attack drop? Jelly set? Yo, we take those. Break and swipe, yo. Attack drop again. So we have plus two defense and a minus one attack drop. And he's going for Max Quake. Are you physical or special? If it one-shots stuff, like, he's special. I think that's physical. Or he's Flygon's weakest Pokemon, right? Or Flygon is just the weakest Pokemon. It could definitely be either of either of those things. It's definite quake. You get a quake and you get a breaking swipe. Everyone gets a breaking swipe. Poor fly gun. He's probably gonna is he gonna I thought he was gonna switch to the jelly scent to block the max quake. We'll see if he actually has like a pinch berry on this thing. Oh he gets nothing. Just the breaking swipe to finish it off, yo. He locked himself the trick with his own scarf, and then he obtained yours. Ah. It's never worked that, given that. It has, actually. It has. Back in Gen 4, that's how that used to work. Um, if you tricked, like, an item, right? Um, like, so if I were to use trick and trick a choice scarf and receive a choice specs, I would be... I would be locked into the trick again. That's how choice scarfs... That's how, that's how trick used to work back in, like, Gen 4. They changed the way Trick worked in Gen 5. Pretty sure it was Gen 5. Back in the Wild West of Pokemon. Rotom, love to see it. Hello, Rotom. Goodbye, Rotom. Rockslide. Where's my extra at? One HP? Wow. I'm at 1 HP. I should probably switch this T-Tar out then. I don't need to. I have enough stuff in the back. Let's just finish it off with a breaking swipe. He's just probably going to run anyways. Yep, we take those wins! Wins going up, yo. Swaggy, not today. It's always hard for me to grasp how VGC was back then. They were the Wild West of VGC. Never forget. 